Um, the producer credit was given as a very generous gift. <laughs> um, so I was just sent it as an actor and I just loved the script. And it was funny because I didn't find it too sad until the very end, really. The, do you wish you could unknow me? I was like, that's heartbreaking. Um, but I think we can all sort of relate to feeling like we don't belong and other people are doing it better and I'm not great company and I don't say the right thing. And so uh, that was a draw and um, I felt a lot of sympathy for her, but also the sort of surrounding everything was so joyous. The office was so joyous. Um, it was just wonderful. And I was a big fan of Rachel, so it was a very easy decision. I mean, I've been in that, I was in that kind of situation, I think months before with someone who they weren't, they had a hard time opening up and they weren't showing their vulnerabilities and they lived in this space I thought that they could have been celebrated more if they let go. So I, that drew me to it. Also, I felt like Fran before, or isolated and, you know, even though sometimes I think, because um, I do stand-up comedy when you're like, they think you do your comedy, you're boisterous in public. I think privately, a lot of comics, they just have another side to them that they don't share with people. So that all kind of drew me to it. Filming during the pandemic and quarantine, you know, is a gift for some actors because we were able to work, you know, and we, all the tests, everything, the safety protocols. That being said, I've just been so grateful over these few years to have work because it is social. We had so much fun. And for, just personally for my work, I'm big. I'm, I'm like to the back of a 2000 seat, like <laughs> performer. And it was just such a gift from Rachel to be like, Dial it down. You're fine. You're enough. And that, and we, and even Meg's character is big. Mm. And seen, and like, I feel like you, an ensemble does collab, uh, collaborate and also calibrate mm. performances. Brittany was like so innocent and kind of giggly sweet. And with Meg being kind of like that spoken id that I do, I'm like, great, I don't need to do that. I can be a little more muted. I don't get to do that. So it's like, mm. it's fascinating. Then when you watch the performances back, especially, because uh, we see Dave and Daisy so much, like, we, we learn, like, how, like, there's just such subtlety and, you know, so much is on Fran and her work that I don't get to play in this world and I'm just, it's just a gift to me. Mm -hmm. I feel so fortunate. I had many great experiences on set with everybody. Um, I wanted to be a part of this project uh, just personally. I, I think I had experiences that were maybe more controlled, uh, there was a specific outcome that needed to, I, I needed to perform or be. And this was kind of, it rejuvenated my heart mm. um, being a part of this project. And um, I feel like everyone's brilliance, it shows like from every department, from every, every single person. Uh, and I love being a part of an ensemble. I love collaborating with people and I love learning. Um, and one of my, I think my favorite, some of my favorite moments and days on set was when we were just all in our dressing room mm -hmm. slash makeup room <laughs> slash costume room. <laughs> and all of us just sitting and yeah. in a circle, yeah. like yeah. telling stories or on the so floor. someone's napping on the floor. Like <laughs> I took like a five, five minute nap or uh, it, it was, I mean, that was, it really healed something within me um, just from past experiences where People just have different intentions of being on a job mm -hmm. and don't know how, it, it, kind of in a toxic way, uh, don't want to collaborate with others. And there was absolutely, it was, there was none of that on this. It was magical. It was collaborative. It flowed. And I think it speaks a lot to um, every like from the top down, it was, it, that was just so healing for me to be a part of this. So I, that's my experience. One funny thing on set, though, I have to oh, say, yeah. is when we had to do COVID tests, sometimes it would be the swap, sometimes it would be the spit. But they're just like, it, there's nothing like just like looking at everyone, yeah, like spitting yeah. into a vial or like swabbing. <laughs> Morning, Dave. How are you? Pretty. Yeah, like, <laughs> you'd have to wait in the, for the person to come out of the bathroom. And they knew, they knew yeah. what they were doing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but when felt... they come to your the Airbnb, sometimes that feels weird because they, it's awkward. That you only see them for like 30 seconds and they just leave. You're like, that was just, I felt like something bad here happened. Oh. Yeah. In the past like year and a half, I've made three really different films and I'm glad this is the first one coming out. Um, no, I think like 
it's really as simple for me as I like what I like. And when the stars align, I mean, there's a, there's loads of things that I wanted to do and then it didn't work out. And this is just one of the lucky ones where I wanted to do it. And then it worked with time and it worked with stop dates and all the other COVID stuff. Yeah. And, um, and it was really lovely. Like what Britt was saying, it was like a very, like wonderful experience in quite like a healing way. And Rachel, um, set like a very calm sort of, like mm. everything was just uh, deliberate and intentional and calm. And you could just come in and do the thing and we were all together and like, it wasn't difficult to get through the shoot. It was like a very enjoyable experience, even though some of it was very upsetting, like even coming into the house after the moment in the car, mm. like it was the most, and I've been on very respectful sets, like it was the most respectful, wonderful. There were probably five people in the house. Everyone was silent, no one moved. It was just so wonderful, like from the office to the flat to the everything. Um, so I think it's just uh, not intentional, but it was a very lucky, happy everything coming together.